talk to you. Just walk us through the process when you hit the portal and kind of what you liked about Ole Miss to, to land here. Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> when I first hit the process, the pro like it was, it was a little stressful when I first hit the portal. Um, you know, I had a lot of teams coming at me left and right. I feel like Ole Miss, it just felt right. Like I liked the way, like when I had King, when I had talked to Kiffin, uh, I liked the way that he run, ran the team, how they do practice, like just everything. It's just all in line. Like the time frame of when I had to leave my apartment in uh, Florida, things like that, everything just aligned. So, you know, I came on my visit and then after my visit, I seen what I had to see and I was done. I didn't have to talk to nobody else. Kind of, you know, you and Walter kind of new to the line, but your thoughts on Ivy and Piggies and what y'all four Mike can bring? You know, uh, J.I. and uh, J.J., they're uh, veteran guys that's played in the SEC before. And, you know, those guys really have helped me and Walter out, you know, coming into a new system that I haven't been before in uh, Pete's uh, defense. And they've really just helped me out, you know, learning this new defense. And, you know, I just feel like we could be one of the best uh, D-lines -line, D in the SEC. Does it still feel a little surreal to be at a different SEC school than the one where you were the last couple of years? And then along those lines, have you thought ahead to what it emotionally will be like for you to go back to play in Gainesville in a different uniform? It does feel a little weird. Like, like I'll be scrolling on Instagram and I'll see, like, the Florida Gator page post them at practice. And I'm like, damn, I'm not there no more. Like, it's kind of weird. Like, but, nah, yeah, it's, it, it, it's, still, it's still, like, it hasn't really hit all the way yet, for real, for real. But, you know, you know, because I was there for a long time, and it's not like I was just there for two seasons left. I was there for four years. So, you know, it, it's it's a new change. And I'm, I'm going to be happy to uh, go back over there and, and play another game in the swamp. Just for the Ole Miss fans who haven't seen you play, how would you describe your gameplay? Uh, fast. Uh, I'll say more, uh, I'll say finesse, but I can, you know, I do get aggressive when needed. And, and just last year, what, what do you think you did, you excelled at and some things you wanted to work on this off season? Uh, I feel like last year I excelled at, you know, get pass rushing, you know, I didn't, I didn't have like, like my sacks, it wasn't double digit, it didn't like pop off the screen, but you know, if you go back, if you go and watch the film, I would get to the quarterback a lot, like right before he would throw the ball and things like that. So, you know, I had a, like a lot of good pass rush reps. I feel like I was one of the best uh, uh, in the country as far as pass rushing. I feel like this season uh, I could work on something that from last season I could work on better is my drops and um, uh, my uh, attacking the run game a little bit. But I feel like here, I'm getting coached harder for things like that. You know, I feel like at Florida, like the way I was coached, it was kind of like, it was almost as if like they was just telling me to go out there and use my talent, if that makes sense. But here, you know, Coach Lou and Coach, um, damn, oh, Coach Lou and Coach Joyner, they really on me about the little things, you know, attacking the run. Coach Lou really goes through the progressions of the drops and the routes that are being run when I have to go into coverage. Like when I was at Florida, it was like, they would just tell me go drop to this area and I would have to figure out everything else on my own. But here, you know, they go real into depth. I feel like I'm actually getting, you know, developed here. I answered it at the end there, but I was going to ask just what is the differences or maybe challenges that you've seen right off the bat coming into the system that, that Golding has? You said challenges of what? Just kind of adapting to this new system that, that Golding has enacted. Uh uh, I feel like the challenge, it's just, you know, just learning a new defense. I ain't going to lie, like, in the past, you know, at Florida, I had three different defensive coordinators, but it's never been as hard as learning Coach uh, Golden's defense. But I also see why he's had so so much success as a defensive coordinator because, you know, his defense is difficult to learn, but once you learn it and you see why you have to do the things you, that you have to do, you see why, you know, he's had some of the top defenses in the country. You know, it just it just makes a lot of sense. But, yeah, he's just like I'm – this is like the fourth week I think I've been learning the defense, and it's getting easier and easier as it goes on, but I'm not going to lie. It is one of the hardest defenses I had to learn. Uh, what are some of your goals for uh, spring practice this year? Spring practice, just to – just get better at the things that I'm not that I'm not already, you know, close to or elite at. Like for example, just like um, getting into like uh, working on my coverages, like um, 
going I've I've already seen like me and Lou have talked about it like a big difference in my like when I drop into coverage from when we started OTAs in week one into uh, now going into practice five or six. But yeah, just I would say mainly my coverages and then uh, attacking the run and being consistent, you know, going hard, 100% uh, play in and play out. Last week we talked to, to Jackson and, and JJ Pegues and they said that they really played a big role in, in helping get some of these portal guys in and help recruit. I guess who, who were your biggest recruiters? Jackson and it was it was yeah Jackson you know he he would call me FaceTime me all the time and it was it was kind of I wouldn't say it was weird but you know in the past <laughs> in the past like even to this day like I still talk to Jackson a lot but in the past I feel like at, at my last place I was at the quarterbacks were always like to themselves or they only hung out with like one guy and didn't really talk to everybody but you know Jackson is like a team guy, you know, he talks to everybody on the team. He's cool with everybody on the team. It's still kind of weird to me because, like, I'm just so used to not ever talking to the quarterbacks. Like, in my past schools, you know, the quarterbacks were always to themselves and only talk to the offensive guys. But Jackson, you know, he talks to everyone. He's involved with everyone. Appreciate it. How do you pronounce your last name? Uman Mielin. Yeah. 